Hey guys, it's Andrew from Uplink here. All right, so we're in the great room right now. Really beautiful space and a space where it's really important to keep the aesthetics of the home beautiful. And that's why I love these frame TVs because you know, you've got a TV on the wall there that can be used, but uh, when it's not being used, you can also just have it display artwork. And in my opinion, technology is something that should be experienced and not seen. So all the connections that have this TV, it's all behind it in the wall, running directly down to that uh, network hub in the basement. But the feeling that you have in the space is that the technology isn't like taking away from the granite on the wall or the fireplace or just the, the comfort level that you're, you're having when you're sitting in the couches in this room. It's, uh, it's designed so it's not taking away from any of that. It's actually just adding to the experience because you could be displaying some artwork from the Louvre while you're enjoying some tea or whatever, or brandy with friends. And then the next thing you go, oh, can I show you something on YouTube? And, and it just is there available for you to uh, trigger when you want to use it and then as invisible as possible when you don't. That's really kind of the ethos behind how we design smart homes at Uplink is that the tech is just augmenting your life and making it better and not really taking away from the general feel of the space that you're in. It also connects into these speakers that we have in the ceiling, but again, they're sleek, low profile, and not designed to take away from the aesthetics of the room at all. I just wanted to show you a cool little project we finished. We actually got a golf simulator set up. We did four speakers in the ceiling in here just for stereo audio. There's also a receiver in the cabinet there where you've got a PS5, the golf sim computer. The son can you know play video games. He can also shoot hockey on here. It's from HD Golf is, is the simulator brand. It's fun. We were actually trying it out today, had a couple shots. I'm actually really surprised how accurate the lasers are at like telling you where your ball can go. It's pretty amazing how you shoot will affect uh, where the ball ends up. Not too bad. Straight down the pipe. It's a great addition to the basement. Client's able to practice on his golf game all year round, which is pretty cool. You've got amazing readouts on the screen here after you shoot, it'll actually show me that I, I hit that shot off the heel of the club a little bit too much. So probably affected my distance and it definitely helps you to see what's happening with your, your stroke and how things are happening in real time. Golf's a tricky game, so. Walking away and each time you miss, you feel like you're gonna have a stroke. <laughs> there's, there's lots of data to tell you why your shots aren't working. <laughs> Yeah, so another cool result. This is all integrated into a smart home. He's got great Wi-Fi in the room as well. Even though we're deep in the basement um, in Toronto and there's lots of uh, you know equipment around us and whatnot that would block signal, he still has amazing Wi-Fi in this space. So uh, all in all, really fun room next to his theater. And, you know, somebody can watch a movie and somebody can be golfing or playing uh, PS5 if they want to. So all, all in all, a great result. wanted to show you uh, what a theater project can look like with Uplink. Uh, we've got a 9.1 surround sound system in the room. There's a 135 inch 8K screen and then we have a uh, 8K projector up there. A little bit of future proofing so that once 8K starts to come out and becomes more of a normal thing, the client will be able to easily just put those streams or whatever on the projector and it'll be able to display that in the highest quality available. The room's really blacked out, so you get a nice ambiance when you're in here, and these lights only reflecting on the wall give you pretty minimal lighting when you're in the space, but uh, it's actually kind of nice because you don't need lots of light when you're in the room. We worked the client on this one to uh, create seating for eight people. We ended up actually bringing some of the speakers from his old place. It's worked out fine, and um, then what's cool about this one is you'll see there's actually no equipment in the room because it's actually uh, in our uh, electrical storage area that's actually behind the projector screen in another room. So we've got an IR repeater that's uh, on the wall just below the screen uh, and a Harmony remote. So the client's still able to control like his receiver, his Apple TV, his Rogers TV box, uh, but none of those devices are actually in the room 
you know, uh, illuminating their lights and, and whatnot, making noise. And it also declutters the room as well. So it's a really, really nice outcome. Really am happy with the result. Not the prettiest part of a project, but it's always something that I want to show you. Uh, just so you get an understanding of like the sheer amount of equipment and cabling that has to be run in any smart home project. I can take off the side panel here and you can just see that this rack unit is absolutely chock full of stuff. We've got his feeder receiver in here, Bell internet modem, power adapters for some of his access points. Every single cable that we ran in the home is in this thick bundle of wiring right here. Uh, we ran CAT6A to every single room. There's access points, there's, there's connections behind his TVs. All this stuff is necessary in order to have a properly functioning smart home system. It's a bit hard to, to see, but we've got his Sonos amplifiers in here patch panels he's got two different internet providers in here as well so we're doing a, a dual wan setup because he really needed a reliable internet connection when one's down the other one kicks in so yeah i just wanted to show this to you this is why we put this in the basement because obviously not something you want to have in your living room you don't want to see any of this stuff anywhere in your house you want to keep it down here hidden you've got a fan exhausting all the heat that these devices are emanating as well stuff is ugly but it's really important and necessary for any smart home to have a great foundational setup like this hey guys so access point not really a term that you hear all the time maybe it's like i'm giving you traffic directions or something but this is actually what an access point is here so this is a ubiquity uh, UAPACLR and this is connected to the uh, switch in the rack unit that I was showing you and it's broadcasting Wi-Fi throughout the home. So we have several of these throughout the house and these are directly wired back to the network. So they're all going to be broadcasting a really strong, powerful signal, the fastest and most reliable way to broadcast Wi-Fi throughout your home. Just like when you go to an airport or a library or some convention center and they have whole building Wi-Fi, this is the way it's done. It's a wired access point connected to a hub where the, the internet is being uh, delivered. Uh, nobody's gonna be lagging behind and fighting over bandwidth. The home gym, something that uh, we all tried to make during COVID. I actually transformed my living room into a gym because I just didn't have the extra room, but I didn't, I didn't regret it at all. And a lot of the projects that we do now tend to have a home gym. This Peloton system is an example of how tech is influencing the way that we work out. He's got some Peloton weight, he's got the treadmill, camera on the TV there. Uh, the way that we set this room up is so that the technology isn't taking away from the space, it's just adding to it. The TV is sleek on the wall, connections are all hidden behind it. The Peloton's able to easily link into the system. The network requirements of that to, to work well uh, when you want to log into your session and work out the speed the reliability bandwidth it's all going to be there you're not going to be five minutes before your workout starts struggling to get things running because your network sucks that's the experience we want to have and then we we added to it by putting some ceiling speakers into the ceiling that the tv is also going to play off of so you also get great audio because whenever we're in the gym you know good life or wherever you work out there's always some music playing or something like that it's it's a great way to kind of boost our energy during our workout. So giving them the ability to just easily uh, up the mood and they want to pick their favorite playlist and get right into their workout without having the tech be like stuttering or, or, or making them uh, delayed or late for their, their Peloton session. So yeah, that's, uh, that's how we set this space up. I think home gyms are great. I love the idea of it, creating healthy homes where we are actually able to put things in them that, that allow us to take better care of ourselves. Yeah, so, so we're at the front door and uh, really the only thing that we've got here is a smart doorbell. Smart doorbells are actually a, a surprising thing that you'll use often on a smart home. Like they have package detection. So if you do have a package left uh, on your front porch, you'll get a notification for it. Um, you know, I also get when I need to sign for something, it's really easy for the person to get a hold of me. I've even had instances where I had uh, an item that I needed to return and it was going to get picked up and it was just inside my front door. But I was actually told the day the driver would show up was going to be uh, the following day and he showed up early. And I was able to let him in. I had a smart lock as well. I was able to actually let him inside and he grabbed the item and, and just shut the door and I was able to lock it again remotely. So there's some cool little conveniences that you'll 
you'll get in, in when you have these things combined together. And uh, it also doubles as a security camera, which is a, a really great spot to, to add a camera for your security for your home. What we've got here now is just the uh, security cameras, 4K. Uh, they've got smart detection, so like a human or vehicle detection on them. You know, cameras are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's like an insurance policy. You want you want to have it for when you need it, but other than that, it's it's not really something you're going to be watching every day. Uh, it's just a way to to keep everybody honest, and, um, and and it's something that you know it's like an insurance policy. You want to have them. Better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them. So thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you on the next one.